Hi everyone. Today's art journal prompt is abstract. Um, I've opted to use alcohol inks to create my page. Um, this is the finished piece and I'm going to do um, a talk over, voiceover um, in the video in a second. Um, now I know that not everybody owns alcohol inks but the sky's the limit with this one. Use um, acrylic paints, use watercolours, um, you can even use um, alcohol markers, sharpies with um, isopropyl alcohol and blend it or blending solution. Um, so, you know, have, have a think about how you want to um, do this. I just want to talk through a couple of, of things because um, I've put the video on to fast forward and I've done a voiceover. I am using Kirkland brand, which is Costco's own brand, professional glossy inkjet photo paper as my substrate. And let me just explain. This is the front of the photo paper. Um, I am actually using the reverse side um, because it um, is very, very similar to to Upo paper I've, I've found but a fraction of the the cost and um, so it, it's the reverse of photo paper um, if that's the, the 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 substrate you want to use you can also use Upo um, if you have some if you're using alcohol inks or, or markers um, you can even use transparency film acetate um, as well which you'd need to back with a piece of white paper because otherwise you wouldn't be able to see what you were doing now I am using Tim Holtz Ranger Adirondack brand alcohol inks um, and I explain which colors I'm using as I go along um, I'm using isopropyl alcohol as well. Mine is, well, it says 100% here. I think it's 99.9%. Um, I ordered this from Amazon. I think it was $7.99 for, for the bottle a couple of years ago. And then I use a couple of tools as well, namely a dressmaker's pin with a small flat head. I don't know whether you can um, see that. Let me just hold it up really, really close to apply the alcohol and create some patterns on my page. Um, I also use a slightly larger dressmaker's pin as well with um, a, a, a round pearl end. Um, it's difficult to see what I'm using in the video. So I'm going to put the video now onto um, fast forward and do a voiceover and I'll see you at the end. Now I'm just adding some layers of, of colour to this um, piece of paper here. Um, I'm working on the reverse side of photo paper, which reacts very similarly to Upo paper. So I start off with a layer of stream, followed by lettuce, then sailboat blue. before adding a layer of pinks and purples in the in the middle. So I start off with Wild Plum. Being careful to choose colours that work harmoniously together as well so that I don't create mud. Then Watermelon, which is a nice bright red. Eggplant, which is um, an aubergine colour. and twilight purple. Then repeating the blue, so sailboat blue, followed by lettuce and then finally stream, which was the first colour I started with, squeezing the alcohol really gently so that I don't flood the page. Then using that stream colour to add some tiny uh, droplets of alcohol ink onto the lettuce just to create some visual interest and pattern. Heat setting with my heat tool to stop the blooms developing any further before repeating on that strip of lettuce um, again. I just think if you repeat a pattern, it just looks um, visually pleasing to the eye. Now I'm using the flat end of a dressmaker's pin to add small droplets of 99% isopropyl alcohol, which bleaches the colour and creates a um, really pretty visual effect. Doodling with that um, isopropyl alcohol on that pin. Now, 
Then I decide to add a bit more of the red um, and you can see it sort of bloom out inside the red that was already there and quite create sort of like a river. I just love that. Doing exactly the same with the purple twilight. And then adding another layer of doodling at the, at the bottom. It just looks so interesting and pretty. I just love it. Now I decide to add some orange um, to that red just to sort of lighten it and, and brighten the page. And again, more doodling with that um, pin. And I love the way that the alcohol reacts differently on the different colours of, of ink. You never quite know what you're going to get. Adding a bit more of that sailboat blue. And then dropping in some isopropyl alcohol with a slightly larger pin head. I think this pin head has got um, a pearl bobble on the end, just to create a slightly bigger, bigger bloom. Adding a smaller dot with that um, small flat head pin again. Then adding a bit of purple because it's bloomed too big and I didn't quite like how it, how it looked. Now I decide I'm still not quite happy with that little part of the um, abstract so I add some wild plum to a piece of acetate um, and add it underneath the twilight purple using the flat end of that pin. And that to me just looks much much better. And here's my finished page. I just absolutely love how this looks. Now you can see that um, I've got some silver flakes um, on this page to finish things off. Now I did record the process for you, but unfortunately I applied the glue before I added the flakes, switched the camera off to allow the glue to dry for the two to, two to three minutes that they suggest and forgot to put the camera back on. So I apologize for that. Now the way that I did it, I used some of the Pebio silver flakes. It says gold here, but I mean, you can see clearly that they are definitely silver silver <laughs> and I used one of these design and rub dual action um, foiling glue pens and the way that this works um, it's it's like a pen let me just show you that's what it looks like um, and you get a fine bead of of glue and then you leave that for two to three minutes just to, so that it goes tacky before you press on your silver flakes um, so I applied my small bead of glue all the way around the outside of the page um, allowed it to, to dry as I say for two to three minutes and then tipped on um, some of the silver flakes and pressed them in um, left it for another minute and then rubbed off the excess and this is what I was left with now the flakes went absolutely everywhere it makes one almighty mess so so be warned um and the flakes were just literally covering the page and these um areas of silver here were just a happy accident this is where the alcohol ink had puddled and obviously it wasn't as dry as i thought it was and so the flakes had stuck to all of these areas here as well so i've got the lovely pattern um around the outside um and then these other little splodges of, of silver detail and i just absolutely oh, love I that i haven't glued this piece into my journal yet i want to whiz it off to my local printers and get it photocopied because i just think this would look lovely as little little cards um, so I'll glue it into my journal at a later date I'm not going to add a quote um, to this piece because I just absolutely love it as it is I can't wait to see what everybody else decides to come up with for this week's prompt abstract so if you like this I would really appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up I say that every week but it really does let YouTube know that um, you like what I'm doing and I love to hear your comments too so let me know what you think in the comments below feel free to share this you know on other social media pinterest with your friends etc um, and take care everyone i'll see you all again soon bye for now